Hello, welcome back to Wendy's Colouring and today uh, RJ Hansen goodies. So, as you probably know if you've watched me, <laughs> I do like a bit of RJ Hansen. This is my current collection. Uh, and pretty much all of them are coloured in except for my very first one. Sorry, Steambook Houses. I don't know why, but yeah, you've been ditched and left to be lonely. But all the others have been coloured in. Um including this one this month done two in this one now this month um so obviously when russell did mention that he was gonna have some hardback versions there was no way that i wasn't gonna get those as well so yeah these ones have just gone yeah hardback versions so yeah lovely books love all of them we'll probably still keep working in these versions of them as well i think because I do like them so much. Um, but yeah, there are downsides to these ones, aren't there? The obviously, wet media, Amazon paper, doesn't work too well. And it's not the nicest of surfaces to work on um, when you're working for a long time on a page. I tend, in these copies, to mainly only use colour pencil. And over the years that I've been working in these, there's a mixture. I think in my earlier ones, when I've worked in these, these were, as you can see, there's a little bit of um, alcohol marker, but generally I was using luminance and my Holbein's in the earlier ones. Later ones, um, I've been using cheaper stuff in my later ones, so my colours I think work quite quite nicely on this paper. Um, those Brutfuna, are they 180s? The Black Barrel ones that I've got recently. Again, they're on the channel they've been working quite nicely on this paper as well so if you're happy to work in alcohol markers and you like pencil i do love a color pencil page and you know if you only ever printed in this type of book that would be fine for me as well because i i do like a color pencil page i'm quite happy to spend hours and hours and hours and hours on a color pencil page without you know thinking oh, i wish i could just watercolor this background um, so, you know, I do love this format. I'll still buy books in this format because um, obviously the printing is quicker to get these ones. But for <laughs> for many reasons, let me remove my massive pile. They're, they're actually quite heavy, that collection. For many reasons, we did want some better paper, didn't we? And I, I'll be totally honest, I found it very difficult to make a decision about which of these to buy because as you say I have a big collection I do like them this one was always going to be done because you know it is my favorite <laughs> I don't know why but I love this little frog I love his little adventures with his little friends I do there's something about the drawings in that as well and uh, yeah I owned an art about lost and found and this one but I like this one as well so I plumped for these two to start me off um with my collection because I do think they're both beautiful books and when I looked through I thought out of all the books that I have I can see me finishing pretty much every page in these books so having it as a hardback book just just makes sense doesn't it um <laughs> it's quite funny though because I I've been a bit behind with all my comments as some of you probably have noticed normally I like to reply pretty quickly but just life school ill dog various different reasons just meant that i got a bit behind so i was catching up with them last night anyway again some people will have noticed that um and a few people had asked me had i ordered any of these and i was like yes but they seem to be taking ages it says it might deliver in november and then literally as i was going to bed last night it went oh delivering your books tomorrow what <laughs> thought you were delivering them in november so yeah so yay <laughs> that was a nice surprise today um yeah, and they are really nice, beautifully made. They kind of remind me of an old school annual, if you know what I mean. That they've got that kind of, it's that kind of size, like an end of the year annual. Um, there, uh, let's let's have them next to one of my old ones, so you can kind of. Obviously, I've been working in this, so it will look a bit thinner. There's only one copy of the drawings in these, so they are thinner. Um, in terms of how many pages are in it but yeah the covers are really beautiful um, 
he always does lovely covers anyway, doesn't he? The designs are lovely, but seeing it in this kind of hardback version, I think really is, they really are nice. I'm both of them, I'm really pleased. Can't say Amazon packaged them particularly well, but we won't go there. Um, my envelope was open. Yes, open, but thankfully, Mr. Amazon driver clearly didn't want to have to have some book because they were both still in there. Um, but yeah, I think they, the, the actual covers are beautiful. And obviously, I am a bit of a messy colourer. I do get it all over my desk when I'm working and I do get it all over my covers. I was noticing um, even just this one, I've not even worked in it that long, but the cover is actually starting to split because <laughs> I just, I'm obviously a mucky monster, but... Um, so yeah, just wipe clean, better protected covers. They just feel like a bit more of a special thing, don't they? Yeah, stop wobbling on and get on what the paper's like when. <laughs> I can hear you, I know. So, Frogtail, same kind of layout. What I <laughs> I opened these and I was like, oh, this paper's amazing. And it is, this first page is absolutely beautiful if it was like this i'd be buying the whole lot tomorrow because it's yeah that's really nice paper and then we're on to the printed paper and it is it is better definitely it is better when i compare it this is not the same book but when i compare it it, it feels much smoother i think particularly if you like alcohol marker this will be much kinder to your nibs it, it feels really smooth and nice and it is thicker definitely it's not got this paper has that kind of cheap roughness to it there's no other way of describing it is there but yeah this does feel like better quality paper it feels smoother it does feel a little bit thicker i don't think it's top quality i think that's what i will say first of all like i've i've got uh last week obviously hannah carlson came in paper in her books is sublime let's be honest it, it's nowhere near that kind of quality but it's a significantly better jump than um the current books i kind of felt like this felt bigger but whether it's it's not as bigger is it it's, i don't know i don't know if the print felt like it was bigger to me when i oh hello i'll just rip a page in it before we even started what an idiot see that one i have done let me get my book but when i was looking at it i was like that feels feels bigger oh it is a bit bigger look isn't it it does f just an incy quincy yeah i didn't dream it they are printed just a tiny bit bigger i think maybe how am i dreaming it i don't know if i'm dreaming it do you think it's bigger it feels bigger when i'm looking at it but i think it's only only marginal if it is, but anyway, get rid of that one. So yeah, the the prints are the same, one-sided. These books actually aren't amazing to open if you had a double-sided. Obviously, RJ Hansen doesn't generally do double-sided. I think there wasn't the one in it, one of the Christmas book. I think there was one in that, but generally he doesn't do double-sided, so it doesn't really matter. Here's an all the nice one-sided ones. Um, like I say, I think if you're alcohol marker, pencil, you'll be delighted with this. Um, you just got the one copy. Obviously, the images aren't changing. And then at the back, you've got the usual. You've got a little bit of the advert. You've got other books in the series. You've got some of this lovely paper at the back. And another piece of it. So those two. I was. Oh, no, there we are. Is that the printing paper? Yeah, that is the printing paper. So I'm thinking I'm gonna try a bit of wet media on it in a minute and we'll see how wrinkly it goes. Oh, if only it was this though. <laughs> this that's at the front and the back. This paper is lovely. Absolutely lovely, yeah. This is good. I do think it's good and I think it's a good jump over. Okay, so I have cut out some bits already to see how it goes i think feeling it i think watercolor pencil and just using a wet brush i think that'll be fine i might um use one of my magnus pencils because that'll put down quite a bit quite quickly 
And we don't really, I might just wet this palette whilst we're waiting so we've got some of the stuff already. Let's have a look. Let me just drop some drops on my palette. Just got RJ, RJ Hampton books everywhere. Okay. So, I think this will be fine on this paper. Let's put something over there just in case. You do realise I'm uh, destroying my <laughs> brand new book. It's literally just arrived and I'm already just doing random things in the back. But never mind. We've got to know, haven't we? We've got to know what the damage is going to be. bit of my giant Magnus pencil. See that's what I want. It's a bit quicker. And then we definitely need a brush. Where's my little there? Has it got any water left? You'd think I'd check this before I started but I was so excited I just couldn't help myself. Okay so I've got my little water brush. I might want to put my glasses on so I can actually see. That might be helpful won't it? Please be fine. So obviously this is not going to be any kind of masterpiece, but you know, I am going to wet it in quite a substantial amount to see what happens. Mm, so far so good, I think. Has it gone through? Mm. Well, you can see where it is, can't you? And you can see that it's a little bit wet. But overall, that's not bad, I don't think. But now, now I'm going to be properly mean with it. I can actually put quite a bit of water on it, I think. Okay, so let me get my little watering machine in. Oh, these books are next to me and they're getting on my nerves. Okay, so. I'm not advising doing this on your book. But, let's see <laughs> how bad bad gets. Because you might want to do this on a background. <laughs> Picked a subtle colour for this uh, experiment, I don't know. Have a bit of purple. I'm just going to paint the entirety of this page just to see what what happens. This is not a masterpiece. But it is what we want to know, isn't it? If I decide to soak my page, how bad will the page go? Soaked my page so much that I've used all the wet paint up. Well, that is now quite wet. So, without getting it everywhere, I've got another bit of paper. Let's just put that in there before I get this everywhere throughout my brand new book. Mm, and as you can see, you can pretty much see it has been wet and you can see it has stretched the paper a little bit but actually that's not bad you know not for how much water I've just put on so I'm going to pause you 
I'm going to let that dry just like that. I'm going to put nothing else on it. Just going to leave it open and let it dry and we shall have a look in a sec. Okay, and we're back. So it's just been on my window ledge for a good 15 minutes or so just to dry out and you can kind of see what we've got in terms of um, warping. It's not too bad actually considering how wet I got it. I don't think it's too bad and I think if you wanted to work over it I think it would be possible. You know, there's still the paper surface is still fine enough that you can definitely start to work over and yeah, it's okay. It's definitely warped much much less where I did just the um, the pencil work, and obviously I didn't use anywhere near as much water on there, and that bit's hardly warped at all. So I think going forward I would say you can really wet it it's it's um, it's gonna warp but it's not too bad I don't think the warping is um, so bad that you will can't work on it and I think once you've had it shut again in the book and you've got a bit of weight on it I think it probably flattened down again is it as good as Hannah Carl's on paper no but what books are realistically um, I think I'd probably play safe and use my watercolour pencils, ink tents, that kind of um, product. But if you are, like there is, um, is it in the, this one? I think it's in this one that there's a little moon um, in, the, in the background and I did think oh, it would be nice to do a watercolour background behind that one. Was it this one? Oh yeah, this one I was thinking would be nice to be able to do some paintwork around the edge um, and a bit of maybe metallic in it. I, I don't think I'd probably risk it. Um, is it going to warp? Yes, it is going to warp a little bit, but they're single sided, aren't they? I think they'll still be workable. Um, and yeah, I think it's taken it okay. It's not, you know, super top paper, but it's a massive jump up from Amazon paper. And it, I've got to say, it does feel like these. This is my whole binds that I've, I'm in the middle of an, uh, a colour, a colouring on a different book that just happened to be on my desk because I'm in the middle of doing a particular thing. But um, these feel really nice on this paper. They do feel very smooth. Obviously, whole binds are quite smooth anyway. But yeah, they're sitting nice on the paper. I think colour pencil would be beautiful on this paper. But overall, yes, that's the first look at these two lovely, shiny new books. Yeah, I'm really pleased with them. Um, it gives me more scope. I do like a bit of metallic now and again, as you know. Um, and it really does allow us a bit more flexibility of what you want to do with it. I think you get away with a bit of Neo 2s, definitely. As long as you don't go water crazy. I think that's what I would say. I think you can use a little bit like we can in a lot of books can't you you can't go mad in all of them um but yeah i'm really pleased with them i'm really pleased we've got the option of either you can have what suits you and it gives you a bit more flexibility i i love the hardback covers they just feel so nice that's a thing i do like a hardback book does that is that a bit sad i don't know but yeah i think they're a lovely size there's not actually many a4 hardback colouring books are there there's not many out there at this size um, a lot of the hardback ones are you know a, a good size smaller so yeah I'm really pleased with them gives you an idea of what they're looking like obviously price wise they are a bit of a jump they, they don't all seem to be the same price or certainly on obviously I'm thinking of Amazon UK at the moment Frog's Tail in this hardback cover is 13.99 860 for the normal one but moonlit moonlight mischief is 1370 so it's 20p cheaper 29p cheaper um, and the same with the soft soft uh, cover that's also 30p cheaper so they're not surprisingly <laughs> even though they have the same amount of pages in 
some are slightly more expensive and than others the slight differences in how much I have no idea why but I mean it's, it's only a small amount different um, they are obviously significantly a bit more than the norm uh, but everything's going up these days isn't it anyway and I think for the covers I think it probably is worth it it's a personal choice isn't it whether you think you prefer the soft ones or you'd like to go hardback ones obviously these take a bit longer to, for them to produce so if you're in a rush for them <laughs> tough you're not getting them in a rush I think these have taken two 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 and a half weeks maybe three I'm not sure, quite sure off the top of my head but obviously these are a new thing for him so um, maybe that will speed up over time but yeah I'm very pleased to see these lovely sparkly new RJ Hansen hardback books but yeah here's a quick look if you want to see what they're like um, thank you very much for watching hopefully this was of interest to you bye bye